Hey, how you doing? Justin here. For a little bit of music theory, we're going to talk a bit about chords in the key, what that means, but a real simplified version. If you want to get much more into this, I'd recommend that you go and check out my music theory course, because stepping up to it is a lot easier than kind of jumping in. Now, the basic idea when we're talking about chords in the key is that all of the notes in the chords all come from the notes of one scale one major scale usually you can let's talk about major scales there are minor scales and other kind of approaches to this but for now you can say you look at all of the notes in a major scale and we can combine those notes to form chords and all of those chords that use only those notes in that scale would be considered in the key of that scale so we're talking today about c major C major scale, the same scale, the major scale that we've been working on in the lesson. All of the chords in the key of C will only use notes from the C major scale. The chords in the key of C, there are three major chords, they are C, F and G, and there are three minor chords, and they're D minor, E minor, and A minor. So, Anytime you see those chords together and no other chords, you're definitely in the key of C. You do occasionally in the real world find some chords that are borrowed from other keys and popped in there. We're not going to get into all of that sort of stuff just now. What I want you to do is to have a go at working out what the notes are in all of those chords and checking them with the scale that you've just learned. So if you think of our C major scale that we've been working on, and you imagined I'd left dots behind where all my fingers have just been. All of those dots are the dots that we would look at for our C major chords, the chords in the key of C. There's the C, all of these notes were contained there. D minor. Again, they're all contained. E minor. Again, G, A minor, there is actually another chord, B diminished or B minor 7 flat 5, but no one ever uses it, so I've just left it out for the purpose of this lesson, and then we're back to C. So you can see all of the notes in all of those chords all come from the C major scale. So they fit perfectly together. If you were going to improvise a solo, you could use the C major scale over any one or any combination of those chords from the key of C. Like, for example, Californication. If you wanted to improvise a solo on that, you could use the C major scale and it would sound fantastic. There are many, many songs that only use chords in the key, that are really good fun to solo over, they're really good fun as learning vehicles for you to jam with your friends where one person plays the chords, the other one plays a lead line. We're gonna be getting more into that in the coming weeks. This week, I just wanted to sow the seed, the idea of this theory, this idea of chords in a key. If you happen to be a songwriter and you're interested in getting into songwriting, it's a very, very good place to start is looking at the chords in the key, in this case, in the key of C, and trying to put them together and have a listen to what they sound like. The more familiar you get with the sounds of the chords in the key, the more likely you are to recognize them. When you hear a song on the, hear a song on the radio, when you hear a song on Spotify, um, you'll hear it and go, oh, that sounds like that chord progression. You might be able to find it on the guitar more easily. So having an awareness of this idea of chords in the key and how, they, how the chords in the key relate to a major scale, which you should be able to see pretty clearly from the, the major scale lesson that we've done today and learning where the notes are on the neck, which we've done a little bit of a look at as well. If you wanted to, you might be able to maybe write out what the notes are in the different chords. That'd be kind of an interesting exercise, wouldn't it? But I'll leave that one for you. If you want to explore it more, do go and check out the music theory site, uh, music theory part of the website, I should say. And I'll see you for plenty more very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye.